Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. It's been a week's worth of 90 degree weather here in the state line. Rockford got to see low 90s for high temperatures the past seven days, with 94 being the highest temperature back on Tuesday and into Wednesday. Yesterday, we hit a high of 93 degrees, but because of a cold front last night, we're going to be seeing slightly cooler weather and also get a break from the humidity for the upcoming weekend. But taking a live look at our Mercy Health Sky Track camera over beautiful downtown. Town Rockford. We do have more sunshine now that the showers that we saw this morning has moved out of the region. Temperatures are off to a cooler start than how we started off the day yesterday with temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s at the moment. 72 degrees right now here in Rockford, 70 in Rochelle, 69 degrees in both Freeport and also up in Monroe, 72 in Savannah and 73 down in Sterling. One other hint that a cold front did pass through is our surface winds are out of the northwest, so that's helping dry things out as we carry out the rest of our morning. But it's a bit gusty in a couple of spots. 12 miles per hour in Monroe, 10 in Galena, 12 in Sterling, and 10 miles per hour out in DeKalb. Now you can see those showers that did linger on into our morning moving out of the area. We do have a lingering shower still in McHenry County, even upwards into Walworth County, but the rest of the region looking pretty nice out there with the cloud cover decreasing from west to east as well. And that's because a low pressure system that brought us the active evening yesterday is pushing out towards the east of the area over the southern half of Lake Michigan this morning. You can see how dry it is behind uh, this system with uh, Des Moines, Iowa starting off with uh, pl plenty of sunshine and also Minneapolis, Minnesota starting off with plenty of sunshine as well. But clouds are expected to decrease furthermore as we head into this afternoon. We're going to have highs today in the upper 80s because of that cold front that passed through yesterday. We're looking at slightly cooler highs for today, tomorrow, and even stretching into Sunday. But it is going to be a bit windy this afternoon. Wind gusts could top out around 25 to 30 miles per hour at times. So at the start of City Market, may be a bit gusty, but once we get towards the end of the festivities, definitely going to see those winds decrease heading into the night tonight. Now, partly cloudy skies tonight. There's going to be a system that passes to our west. Could bring a few isolated showers and thunderstorms to portions closer towards the Mississippi River just for us here in the state line. A bit more cloud cover, but once we get into tomorrow morning after sunrise, should be starting off with partly to mostly cloudy skies, and then we'll see another chance for a few isolated showers and thunderstorms after 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. That will stretch into the evening, but once we get into the overnight hours and into Sunday morning, that system that brought us those chances is going to be moving to the east of the area, and then we're going to see dry conditions for Sunday. So if you're heading out to City Market, temperatures today in the upper 80s. It could be a bit windy at the start of the event, but once we get towards sunset, that's when temperatures drop into the low 80s and we'll hold on to an evening breeze before those winds die down heading into tonight. So looking at the seven day forecast, 89 for tomorrow with a chance for a few isolated thunderstorms going to be less humid Sunday and Monday. Temperatures quickly climb back into the low 90s as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, continuing that trend as we head into Thursday.